Hello, welcome to Movement Monastery. I'm Francesco Caban, and today we're going to learn how to do... Wheel downs. Now I'm going to be showing this skill from a strength-based approach. There are other ways to get into uh, the wheel down, but I'm not going to be demonstrating those because they require a little more finesse, and I'm going to be focusing more on the strength-based portion of this because that's what works best with my demonstrations. I don't want to demonstrate something or explain something that I can't show in detail. So this is one way and approach to do this. There are other ways. Maybe I'll come out with an extra video of those for those with my wife that knows how to do this. So just keep that in mind that there's other ways to get into this. Okay, so first make sure you take some protective measures. I have Firm Grip Spray on, which I'll put a link for in below. Um, it's rosin spray to keep your hands uh, sticky. Make sure to have a mat down. If you're, not, if you're not training with a mat or some kind of protection underneath you, this is an eight inch mat, gymnastics grade foam. Uh, make sure you're doing that because you're gonna fall a lot and you wanna make sure that you are being safe about this, all right? Now I showed this all the way from up really high, but I'm gonna show you this really low the first couple of times because most people don't have a super high aerial rig to do this stuff on. Um, so that's another thing to think about safety wise. Also, also there's a couple of basic skills you should have before even attempting this. First one you want to have is to be able to do a straddle back, which means hands up high. From a full hanging position, be able to lift your legs up and over to straddle back. I will have a tutorial on that coming soon, so make sure you stay tuned for information on that. You should already have a basic climb as well, or a Russian climb. Basic climb being legs wrapped around and up. or having the Russian climb, which I prefer because you can go quicker. There are a host of other skills that are really important for you, but as far as the main strength-based things you need for that, straddle back and climbs are your main ones for this. Now again, you want to do this very low to the ground to make sure this is a safe experience for you and you can always message me for any questions you have along the way. All right, so like I said before, you need your straddle back. So that's the first thing we're gonna be doing for this skill. So first things first, put the silk in front of you, put your right hand on top, left hand below. If you're gonna do this on the left side, just reverse everything, and then step your right leg to the side. So you're in a sideways position here. It's going straight down the side, underneath the armpit, past the right hip, and behind the leg. From here, you're gonna do your straddle back, going up, and then you're gonna push your hips up and grab a hold with your right leg. So you wanna pinch the silks with your right leg super tight. Your hamstring might cramp the first couple of times doing this, but if you've been working on your aerial skills, you probably have already gotten past that stage. I'll do this facing the other way so you can see. Right hand up, left hand below. Silk goes to the right of me, goes down the back behind me. Straddle back. From here, I lift my hips up and I grab the silk at the back of my leg. Now, you should have the strength from this position to release and hold on without falling down. If you don't have that yet, it's not time to do this skill yet. So you have your straddle back, you've kicked, pushed your hips up, grab the hold with the right leg, right? Correct? So the right leg is over the top. You should be able to hold on with your right arm, no problem. From there, we're going to do something called a back slap or a reach back. So please watch what my second hand does there. From here, hook on. Now this hand is going to reach up or down, I should say. And it's going to go around the back. And you're going to grab a hold of it with your thumb facing up to the top. Now I'm going to hold tight. So really important, right? Once you're upside down, you're going to forget everything, so you got to give yourself some cues. So if I say thumb faces down, obviously it's down. Um, or just give yourself cues based off that so you remember things. So I'm going to try to do my best to do that for you, but once you're in the upside down land, things change, it'll get a little bit weird, you know? So you saw me reach back and grab a hold, thumb is down, and you, and you have to really make sure, really make sure. Take video, I'm making sure to get this from this side so you can see what's going on. Most videos don't show what's going on. They expect you to figure it out. Bring your arm around behind. 
from upside down position, you should look where the silk is. So once you see where the silk is there, look down at the ground, look for the silk, get your hand down to the bottom. Always look, it makes things way easier if you can see what you're doing. Here is the next step, and this is the part that requires the strength I was talking about. And this is also why you want to have a strong straddle back, some other skills along the way as well. My straddle back, up, I'm going to look back for the silk, reach down, get a nice good grab on it, and then from here, I'm going to release my top leg, and I come down to a hanging position. So now I have the silk around my side, I'm holding the top, and the other one's here. From here, you do your straddle back again, and you hook your leg over the top. This is going to cinch the tail end of the silk tight to your hip, and you're not going to go anywhere. In fact, from here, I can let go of the top leg, holding on to this live, this end right here, and I'm not going to go anywhere. So let's recap that. Straddle back, push hips up, grab a hold with the right leg, Keep the right hand on, let go of the left hand, look up, look down, and then put your hand around, grab so the thumb is facing up, um, thumb is facing down. And then from there, you're gonna pull it in tight to your body, and you should from there be able to take your legs off, and you're hanging from your hand here, and the other one right here is pushing in. The more you pull in with that top bottom one, it's underneath your armpit, and pull it in tight, you'll have an easier time grabbing with the top. In fact, this one down here is doing most of the work. It's an illusion. It looks like you're holding on with one arm, but really, this bottom one's doing all the work. So, here like this, and then this one down here. Okay, it's pulled in tight. This one's right here. And then from that position, you should be able to hang. Your arm up there, right? Get your straddle back, make sure the leg goes around the silk so it's on the right side of your body again. And you come up and then you grab a hold of the silk again. Hanging position. You should be able to let go of the top arm and put all your weight into the bottom one. So now you're in the wheel down position. From there you have to actually balance yourself out and feel where your center is. First couple times doing this, you're going to really squish your stomach in. It's gonna be kind of painful, you won't be able to breathe. So you're gonna to have to get used to that discomfort before you're able to move on, be able to wheel down. That's why you wanna start it so low to the ground. Do it a few times, feel what you have to squeeze. The harder you squeeze your abdominals, everything in the middle, and the more you keep your legs tight, and instead of flopping around, you're gonna have an easier time with this skill. All right, next part. So we're gonna do this first demonstration with the knees bent and held in the diamond position or froggy position. Um, and as you get better, you can turn it into a straddle position or other shapes that you like, okay? So let's go ahead and go again. I'll get up there, into that position, and then you get to watch what my hands do. This part, extra important to watch what the hands are doing. So there. Hand comes back into the armpit. Okay, I can, I can let go now. And then from there, I can swing back up to here. Now, I'm going to go to the ground here, so that's good. Holding on tight. I should be able to release that top leg and be coming, come to the side right here. I should be able to balance, no problem. Knees are in diamonds, hand is here. From this position, I'm going to let my hand, my bottom hand release, and it lets me slide down. So from that angled position, I keep my top hand that's closest to the cinch point on the silk. The other one is going to come off and it's going to reach back around my body because I'm going to feed, slowly feed the silk through this hand that's on it and I will start to rotate down as I feed through. Hand just stays there and as I come around, what's going to happen is that you're going to see the silk again and feel for it and you can grab a hold of it as you come around and feel that end. So you're going to constantly be turning around and grabbing for the silk. I'm going to go up a little bit higher so you can see this, but so you can see some repetition. 
but for the most part, you're gonna probably only be able to do one or two of these based on your rigging point. So I'll go up, I'll talk. I really want you to focus on what my hands are doing and how I am spotting and keeping my body tight. All right, now pay attention. Here we go. Hands are on. Release the leg. I'm here. Now, I can release and I feed through. Okay? And then from there I can I can feel it right here. The other hand's down here by my hip still. This other one, left arm came around. I'm gonna spot the floor. And then I can't see it anymore. I can release. And around. And I repeat the process. So I don't normally go that slow. And the silk got stuck underneath itself. Those are all things you're gonna come and encounter with when you're doing this kind of stuff. And that's why you wanna start low. Because, I mean, I knew from that position that I could get that silk out of there. But most people, when they first start something out, they kind of panic. So start low. Build this skill solid and then slowly build up the height as you do it. As far as spotting goes, look at the floor. So you're spotting the floor and then you come around and you spot the floor again each time. That's gonna help you stay level as you're coming around. And then you saw how I fed it through and I got all the way around the side. The cinch point goes away from your hand and then it comes back around again. So you're constantly putting pressure one hand after the other on the cinch point. I'm gonna shoot a slow motion video so you can see what I mean, but I really want you to watch my hands. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay, let's wrap it up. Oh, aerial pun. Nah, nah. All right, so how do you stop yourself at the bottom? Now, most of the time, people just wheel down at the end of their routines because they don't want to do, they don't want to get back out of it but and climb back up, but uh, you can get out of it. And so the good thing is that you get into it, you get out of it the way you got into it. So you know how at the beginning when I just straddle back and hook my leg on? So that's essentially how you stop yourself, but you can only do that when your body is facing upward. So you have to wait for your time self to come around and then grab a hold with your leg. So I'm gonna do a single wheel turn all the way around, grab with my leg so you can see it, and I'll show you how I get out of it as well from that position, okay? Then we'll finish up. Please watch. All right, so I'm in there. This is roughly probably about as high as most people's indoor rigs are, so. It'll be good practice and demonstration. Okay, so I'm here. See where my leg is right now? That's where it's gonna be when I finish. Take my leg off. Hit the diamonds. I do one revolution. Leg is up. It hooks on. From there, I'm gonna take my silk, put it over my head, and I reach up and grab first. And then I reach underneath with my other hand and grab a hold of that. And I'm able to come out of it. Now, there was a fly on my nose. Now, pay, pay attention to that, right? Leg is over. First thing first, I take the silk off and around. Let's watch it again. And then I reach underneath with the other hand and grab a hold and then I just hang down. And from that position, everything just falls off of me. I'll go up a little bit higher, show that again one more time, and then we'll call it. Here we 
we are. Going on. Release. From here. Circle around. Let it grab a hole. From there. Holding on. Bring that around. And I'm holding on to it tight. And then I reach under and grab. And from there. Just let it go. So, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, please make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna have more videos coming for aerial, calisthenics, parkour, free running. So please, subscribe for those things, and hopefully, I'll see you around.